Hey guys, Kiki's here, and I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. A number of you have also asked, so here we go. In this one, I'll be showing you step by step how to install the Spartan mod for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, just a heads up, this one is going to be a pretty in-depth one, as we are not going to be using the cheat engine from the website, because for some reason, that one is very unstable, and when I've tried to use it, it slowed my PC down tremendously because for some reason my antivirus was flagging it as a virus so the best possible solution and most secure way to get cheat engine is to build cheat engine from its source code and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that step by step so follow along and of course you can pause or rewind the video as needed all right so for us to get started we're gonna need to head over to the cheat engine github and we're gonna download the source code for cheat engine 7.5 I have it linked at the top of the description and in the pinned comment for ease of access. So when you get on this page, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see this file marked source code zip. Download that file and we're going to need to extract it. So let's do that together. After that's downloaded, use your extractor, whether it's WinRAR, 7-zip or like me, you just use the extractor that's built into Windows. When that's done, we're gonna need to download another application called Lazarus. Again, the link for this will be in both the description and the pinned comment. A word of caution, when you get on this page, the temptation will be to download the latest version of Lazarus, but that's not the one that we're gonna be using. We're gonna need both of the files listed here, so go ahead and download both and put them in a folder along with your source code. Go ahead and open the win64 file first if windows gives you an unknown publisher caution just hit yes choose your language then keep hitting next until we get to install While that's installing, just a bit of context for Cheat Engine and the Spartan mod. Now, I know the name says Cheat, but the whole purpose of the Spartan mod does the actual opposite of cheating because it does not make the game easier. A matter of fact, it makes it much more challenging. So I know not many people will probably feel comfortable using the Cheat Engine and the Spartan mod by extension. I, I understand, but I'd recommend everyone giving this mod a shot even once. Just for the experience after this is done hit finish and we're gonna go ahead and install the next one which should finish a whole lot quicker hit next then install and then finish when it's done we're gonna go ahead and open up Lazarus which we just installed hit start IDE don't worry about all these windows just navigate up to projects up here and select open project Go to the cheat engine source code folder, then open this file marked cheat engine. Just scroll down till you see this Lazarus project file called cheat engine. Notice it now has the Lazarus icon on it, so double click it to select it. Next, in Lazarus, we're gonna click run up here at the taskbar, then compile many modes. Deselect all of these except the first three, then hit OK. Now, what Lazarus will do is build the cheat engine source code into the actually usable application, so give it a bit of time. When it's done successfully, you should see a green bar that says success, but there will also be a pop-up that says success. Selected three modes were successfully compiled. When you get that notification, hit OK. Now, Lazarus doesn't make it very clear where your newly compiled EXE is, so I'm going to show you. Go back into your source code folder, the one you, you downloaded, head into the folder named Cheat Engine, then Bin, and somewhere at the top, you will see your EXEs available. Most 
people, including myself, will be using the 64-bit version, but this one listed as i386 should work if you are on a 32-bit system. So just right-click on your application and run as admin. And just like that, you have compiled Cheat Engine from its source code. Now, this is the absolutely most secure version of Cheat Engine that you can get. I know the author has a, a Patreon version and there is also one on the website. But for, for some reason, I think those versions are not as stable. And so this path is definitely the most secure to get in Cheat Engine on your PC. All right, so now that you have Cheat Engine compiled and you know where it is, you can remove this folder and put it somewhere else and you can delete the rest of the source code. You can also uninstall Lazarus and delete these files that we downloaded. Now we can finally get the Spartan mod working. All right, so let's head over to nexus.com, hit the breakpoint and find the Spartan mod. I'm gonna grab both the mod and the UI elements because I really like what they do. The UI elements remove all the red warning circles from grenades, mortars and rockets, but also the white circles from your flashbangs. And here's the great thing about the UI elements. You don't need cheat engine for the UI elements of the mod to work. So if you don't wanna go through the hassle of getting cheat engine, you can just grab the UI stuff and drop it into your game exe but just a word of caution the ui elements will only work if you are using the grb exe version of the game which is the direct x version so if you use vulcan you're not going to be able to use the ui elements so just a heads up for you now as usual since we downloaded both the ui elements and the base mod for the spartan mod you're going to need to extract the files you just got so let's just do them one by one you can just put them in a folder to make it neater So since this video is focused on the Spartan mod itself, I'm gonna do the main file first and do the UI elements afterwards. So all you need is this file that says grb-v0.37.ct, which is a cheat table. So it's gonna be used in Cheat Engine. Copy it and paste it into your Ghost Recon Breakpoint game directory. If you want the UI side of the Spartan mod, it's just a drag and drop of all the files here. If you want to take a closer look at the different things that the mod removes, you can just read the note file that's listed right here. So copy and paste all of these. If it asks you to overwrite anything, just go ahead and do that. I already had them in the game folder, so I'm just going to replace them for the sake of the video. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and boot up the game. So head to UBR Steam and open the game from the DirectX version. When it gets to the title menu, you're not going to head into the game just yet. You're going to Alt and Tab out to your desktop. And then we're going to head into our Cheat Engine folder that we just built. You can also create a shortcut of the Cheat Engine EXE for ease of access. So I'm going to pin this to the start and open it from the start menu. If you get a pop-up when opening it for the first time, just hit OK. Now you're going to want to head to this icon here in the top left and find your game EXE in the list of processes. The next thing you're going to want to do is head to the Cheat Engine file you dropped into the directory and drag it to the Cheat Engine window. Then hit enable Spartan mod and it will show you a list of all the changes the Spartan mod makes. You will have the liberty to select the changes you want or just select everything. That's what I do. You can leave this pointers one unchecked. And just like that, the Spartan mod is activated in your copy of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. <laughs> 
you will need to alt and tab out of the game each time you start ghost recon but there is a way to make it a little easier so save this cheat table and replace the one in the directory but let me first head in game and show you the effects the spartan mod has made especially the ui side of things so right away you see there are no more warning circles As I said, there's a slightly easier way to activate it. So close out of Cheat Engine and restart your Ghost Recon Breakpoint application. What you'll do this time is you're going to start Cheat Engine directly from the cheat table in the game directory. Now you do that by coming here and selecting Open With. That way it will automatically select the GRB EXE and then you can just hit the checkboxes you want and enjoy the Spartan mod. If you've made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop me a like and a comment if this helped you and check out my modding guide next if you want some help with modding ghost recon breakpoint thanks so much for watching guys and kiki is out